I'm in Fulda, Germany, which is a very beautiful city. I stand in front of the seminary of Fulda, a historical town in Germany. The entrance to the seminary is very colorful and depicts St. Boniface, a great missionary to the northern Netherlands and Germany, whose tomb I will visit tomorrow. Upon arrival, I have an hour to spare and visit the local castle. The selection of rooms on display date back to the 18th century and they are astonishingly beautiful. The concatenated halls transpire a great grandeur. However, I am a little shocked when I discover that these lavish rooms once were the home to churchmen, the abbots and bishops ruling the region with their portraits proudly looking down on me. The symbols of their spiritual and earthly power, the mitre and crown, now sit peacefully side by side. The emperor's room, executed in white, opens towards a splendid castle garden. The season is right and the flowers are blossoming. As I follow the well-maintained path of the garden, I notice how lively it is being used by the locals, especially by young people gathering in the evening sun. The long train journey has made me hungry and at the local bakery I get a suggestion to try these rather curious balls. After sampling, I can best describe them as oddly shaped donuts. Another curiosity is the main altar of the marrying convent of Benedictine sisters, which has been placed in an extremely high position, with at the opposite side of the church the balcony of the choir where the sisters gather for prayer. This allows the nuns to keep their vows of a life in seclusion, whilst the faithful can follow Mass from below. Obviously, I just need to visit the church dedicated to my patron, St. Michael, and discover a very interesting construction, with a round presbytery and right above it an illuminated tower shaft. A prayer to St. Michael concludes my first day in Fulda.